Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing the Outre Sleek Lay Part Unit in the style Jahari, and I have it in this beautiful, beautiful ember blonde color. It is the color that is shown on the stock card. Y'all, this color, it was giving, okay? I was so pleased with the color when I pulled it out of the packaging. So this unit does come with the left side part and you do have lace space to work with um, around your hairline. I'm going to use this tint spray that I tried once before and I wasn't quite sure how I liked it um, because of how it came out of the spray bottle. But I tried it again for the second time today on this video and... I like how it came out I like the color that it tints the lace too so I will definitely be using it again if you guys are interested in that lace tint spray you can find it in my description bar below so my first thoughts when I put the unit on was I was so 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 pleased with how the hairline looked like so this is a part of their sleek lay part series but Outre, I felt like this unit slick could have been part of the Melted Hairline series because the way they did this lace, it melted so well. Like, I was just, I was in awe, honestly. Like, I love how pre-plucked it is. It was so, it was plucked so well that I didn't have to do any extra plucking to it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that ratio between, like, the hairline and then where the baby hairs are you see how it's like open there that came straight out of the package like that and on top of that the girls were just giving they were so beautiful so i'm going to use this even lace bond adhesive spray i think even has more well not think they do have other ones it's like one in the yellow container and one in the black container um I have all of them, um, but I'm going to use this one today, and I do want to do a video later. But, so you see, do you see that, like, how you see nothing but scalp in between the hairline and the baby hairs? I love that. So... What I did to install it, I kept them both separate and I just sprayed the adhesive spray right there on that empty area. And then we're gonna go in front of the baby hairs and of course cut the lace off. But the way they did this, it makes it super easy for you to lay your baby hairs. And not to mention, um, and also to mention, they added such a great amount of baby hairs on here. Like, it's not too thick or too thin. It's, you can work with it just how it is. All right, so now that we got the lace glued and stuck in place, I'm going to cut the lace off. And um, once I cut that lace off, y'all, you really, you, you, not even really, you couldn't see anything. You couldn't see any lace. It melted into the skin so freaking good. To get my baby hairs down in place, I'm going to use this Isha mousse um you can also find the link to that in my description bar I believe this product is available on amazon but it held my baby hairs down really really good i didn't have to use any extra product on there um, once you get them swooped in place they pretty much stay that way And then I'm also going to add some makeup and heat 
to um, the lace um, just to give that extra like finishing touch to the wig um, I feel like it gets rid of any knots you may see in the lace and then when you use the makeup and then just using the um, hot comb in the front because I want to make sure that the roots stay as flat as possible and it also helps with getting the hair to fall in a certain direction so that's why I always use my hot comb So this unit had a lot of pros you guys but it definitely had a few cons to look to look out for it as well so the con that I really wanted to focus on was um, of course the unit is long you guys so you're gonna have some shedding and tangling and that's really what stood out to me the most but then on top of that i felt that even when i brushed or when i combed the hair out as you can see i started from the end um and then i worked my way up to the top it just started to look a tad bit shaggy which i was you know just a little bit disappointed with because it was my first time wearing it you know it's the first time it's coming out of the package and for that to happen on my first day of wearing it you know getting it ready to wear it's makes you wonder what is it going to look like when I decide to pull this wig out again and actually wear it for hours to come or wear it a third day or a fourth day. You're just going to have to make sure that you have some type of product and some, you know, your your curling iron, your hot comb to revamp the wig. Um, maybe look into like a, a spray that will help detangle the hair. Um, but also not ruin the fibers of the synthetic wig as well. And I do have some options that you can try. Um, the links are in my description bar below. So once we get that makeup added, that's pretty much the last step I would do um, when it comes to installing my wig. Overall though, I do feel like the wig has more pros than cons than what of what I have pointed out. It was definitely big head friendly. That color says everything for me. I would love to try this unit in like a shade two, um, and get it in a darker color. That lace was just everything to me. I am so stuck on that. Like I just couldn't believe how good it is just like synthetic wigs have come such a long way like that legit looks like scalp you can't even tell where the wig starts it's just it's everything so if you guys are interested in this if you guys are interested in this unit make sure you check out my description bar below i will have a link there for you thank you again to outre for sending over today's wig i appreciate you and i appreciate you guys so much for watching y'all gotta let me know how you feel about this wig have you tried it out yet would you try out the amber blonde color let your girl know because i'm quite interested to hear what you guys think so thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you all in my next video bye y'all